Did I ever tell you I'm invisible? Because I am. Do you know how lucky you are? You are looking at the one, the only, the amazing, invisible woman. Confused? You're not the only one. Look, it might just be easier if I tell you what I mean. Let me give you an example. So I work in a coffee shop, one of those fancy ones with five different types of milk and gluten-free protein balls and coffees with daft names like Furtado. And I'm good at my job. I'm friendly, I'm quick, and if you're nice, I'll give you an extra stamp on your loyalty card when my supervisor isn't looking. But if it's me and another girl, sorry, a slimmer girl standing behind the counter, I never get approached. People see right through me. My male co-workers, they act like I don't even exist. So I just keep quiet and make the drinks. All the while listening to mothers scolding their daughters for picking the largest slice of chocolate cake, burdening their young ears with warnings of potential future fatness. Trendy 20-somethings eating a vegan meatball ciabatta berating themselves for being greedy and swearing they'll burn the calories later. Middle-aged women saying they're being naughty for a slice of lemon drizzle, criticising their middle-aged spreads over skinny cappuccinos. And my large, seemingly invisible body goes unnoticed and unseen. I'm the ghost of fatness, past, present and future. The elephant in the room, so large, you don't even spot it. I simply am not there. Or oh, here's another one. I'll be walking down the street, a busy, bustling street, and some man, and it's usually a man, head down on his phone, will walk into me as if I was never there, and then attack me for getting in his way. Great, so you see me when I've pissed you off, is that right, mate? And then, after some purposefully loud mumbles about me being a fat bitch and to watch where you're going, I disappear once more. One time, during rush hour, a man on his phone knocked me clean off my feet. And as I hit the ground, I was simply walked over and ignored. Not even worth a glance of pity. Less significant than dog shit or chewing gum. I simply am not there. On planes, I am seen, but not as human. No, my size makes me less than human. I'm merely a disturbance. Every flight, I pray I get an empty seat next door. But there's always someone who comes along, who rolls their eyes and grunts and groans, who mutters and squirms. Sometimes they complain, Sometimes they don't, but the one thing they never do is talk to me. Never ask me if I'm in pain or if I need an armrest up. Ask me how my day is or where I'm off to. Ask me what it feels like to be a fat person in a world not designed for a body like mine. In a society desperate for me to shrink. No, I simply am not there. Do you want to hear a joke? Here's a good one. Doctor, doctor, I've got a pain in my hand. Well, the doctor replies, have you tried losing weight? It doesn't matter what complaint I come in with. They take one look at me and before I've even opened my lips, I'm sent off with a referral to a weight loss group. No tests, no discussions, nothing. I went undiagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome for five years. Sleepless nights spent on WebMD, 3 a.m. phone calls to 111, countless doctor's visits treated as some sick joke with the same sad punchline. Have you tried losing weight? All that time, my pain remained unseen. When at last the root of my hurt was found, I was told to lose weight yet again. It'll help with your symptoms. My fat is not a part of me. It is a plague a cancer, a statistic in an epidemic, a sickness waiting to be remedied. They never see me for me. I simply am not there. So why can you see me now? Well, it's because for once, 
You have to look. You can't look through me or pretend I don't exist. I don't have to vie for your attention, for your pity, for your disgust or your lust or your fear. I have put myself in the frame this time. And I am your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. I am your cousin you've not seen in six years or your favourite teacher who let you eat lunch with them. I am an ex-partner who let themselves go or an old school friend who's married with kids. I am a person. I am here. I always have been and, like it or not, I always will be. I am the amazing woman. I am flesh and blood. So open your eyes and see me. <laughs>